Jacob and Emily had been married for seven years when Emily dropped an unexpected bombshell. I want a divorce, she told Jacob without a shred of emotion. Jacob was shocked. What about the kids? How would this affect them? And why? Why did she want a divorce when their life was so comfortable? Jacob knew their relationship had problems, but was it so bad that they had to get divorced? The truth was, what had started out as an intimate and loving relationship had quickly disintegrated into a sexless marriage devoid of passion and intimacy. Despite this, Jacob still thought their marriage was worth saving. Emily, however, wasn't convinced. She wanted more. She wanted love. She wanted passion. And she wanted to feel alive. As far as Emily was concerned, her relationship with Jacob was dull and lifeless. Their days had become routine and predictable. After work, Jacob and Emily would come home and watch TV together. They would talk about their day and hold each other close. At night, as they got ready for bed, they would often shower together and brush their teeth at the same time. In fact, they were so comfortable being around each other, they often left the bathroom door open when they went to the toilet. Now when Emily looked at Jacob, it was like she was looking at a close friend. She no longer wanted to have sex with him, and she no longer thought about him or wondered what he was doing during the day. Emily remembered how, almost a year ago, she had tried bringing the element of space into their relationship. Emily knew she needed time to herself, time to think about their relationship and their future together. But every time she asked for space, Jacob would get upset and complain that she didn't love him. Emily felt trapped and suffocated. She now knew, without a shred of doubt, that she had no choice but to leave Jacob and never look back. If there's one area of attraction that mustn't be ignored, it's a concept of space. Space or a lack of space is responsible for more breakups than just about any other relationship problem. Space is so powerful and important, it is in essence the means by which attraction either thrives or dies. In most relationships, when two people come together, the concept of space is usually forgotten. Most relationships start with a bang. The man and woman come together with passion, frequently love bombing the other person, only to discover later that they've squeezed all the life out of the relationship. This is the great paradox of space. We want to be free and separate from others, yet we also desire closeness and connection at the same time. Introducing space is not only important in the early stages of a relationship where coming on too strong can have disastrous consequences. Space must also be present in long-term relationships as well. When a woman loses attraction for a man, it's usually because the man failed to bring enough space and distance into the relationship. Attraction doesn't grow in close proximity, it grows in space.